Good morning, beautiful homemakers. So I decided to wake up early, got some cleaning done in my room. Certain parts were starting to get a little messy again. So I'm just doing some light dusting and some um, organizing. Um, yeah, so good morning. Today's the 2nd of February, 2023. Hope you guys all got some much needed rest. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. God bless all the new ladies that are here to the channel. I know that there's quite a few of you guys. And thank you for supporting my channel. I really enjoy doing this channel. I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I'm just so excited to see where God is going to guide this channel. I just dedicate this channel to the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope that you guys um, be productive today. That you'll spend some time with the Lord. And just have the peace of God in your thoughts and your minds and in the words that you speak. God bless you. Good morning, ladies. Beautiful joy here. So it's still pretty early in the morning. I got up and was spending some time with the Lord. Then I decided to put some clothes away. You know how you wash a whole bunch of clothes and it just stays in a hamper. So I had to get um, that stuff hanged up because I didn't want to drag it. Because I can't stand when I drag it. It was mainly my dresses and my husband's clothes the kids put away their own stuff i don't do their stuff i may bring them some stuff sometimes but they sort they hang and when i do the laundry they put the laundry in the car and bring it into the house okay so they do have their responsibilities but i'm enjoying some chai tea with some almond milk it's the almond milk cream belay or almond milk sweet cream I love chai tea, you guys. I'm about to do my morning devotional. If you guys have time, I will be so happy if you join me. God bless you guys. And yeah, so let's just jump right into the devotional. So this morning's devotional is titled Words for Life. It focuses on James 3, 3 through 5. We put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us. We can turn the whole animal or take ships as an example. Although they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot wants it to go. Likewise, the tongue is a small part of the body, but it makes great boast. Consider what a great forest is set on fire by a small spark. And once again, that's from James 3, 3-5, through 5, and that's the NIV version I just read. So the devotion also says it doesn't take long to realize the power of the tongue. As women, it can be our strongest device. There is no doubt that we are good at talking. The question is, do we talk good? The words we allow to come out of our mouths can have great consequence. Once they are spoken, we cannot take them back. It is not only the words that we choose to say. Sometimes it is the fact that we say them at all. As the scripture says, even a small spark can set a great forest on fire. Ask God to forgive you for the times when you have sparked a fire. Allow the Holy Spirit to guide your heart and your thoughts so the words you speak are truthful, encouraging, and life-giving. Amen. Amen. 